my Zen Tangle friends. Welcome to Not Perfect Zen. This is Barbara Langston, CZT, Certified Zen Tangle Teacher. And this is day eight of the Inktober 2021 Tangle Patterns. And today's pattern is a Zen Tangle pattern called Zenith. And I have on here a few ways that I've learned to do it. This one is a double zenith tangulation by Sanyukta Saxena. And I'm sorry if I'm not saying her name right. And she is a certified Zentangle teacher. And I found this in the Zentangle Mosaic app. And I thought it was really pretty. And this one I did similar to that except that um, I added the brown or the sepia tone micron pen and some little shapes in the center and things like that. But I'm gonna show you first the basic pattern, how that's done. I uh, wanna remind you that in the description of each of these videos, there is a link to the step outs and that can really help you. Okay, I am gonna start with just a line across here. Actually, I'm gonna get a clean sheet of paper because you can see the pattern through that. This is just, um, four by six scrap paper that I have. So I do a line just so I can keep my pattern kind of straight. And we're just gonna do like little scallops or half moons. And again, this is the basic pattern from Zentangle. Okay. And some people, uh, when they do the next one, they just do the exact same thing, doing the scallops. But I find it easier and mine look better if I find the center of that scallop and then connect, okay? I just make sure I'm going to the center, connect to this one, go to the center, connect to this one, and then just keep going. Okay, and then the next thing that you do is add a peak here that ends up creating a diamond shape. And then I'm gonna turn it over and do the same thing on this side. So this ends up being a pretty ribbon. Uh, could do it all the way around a tile as a border. Okay, and then next we add an aura.
Okay, I'm going to turn it and do the same thing on the other side. I'm not going to connect these ends here. Okay, and then the next thing that they do is they add an orb here at the top that has a little sparkle in the center. And then same thing down here at the bottom. All right, there you go. That is Zenith, the basic pattern. And this is the tiles that I cut for myself, and I put them into a uh, disc bound system like this. They are um, four inches wide by four and a half inches tall. And oh, I'm going to show you how to do the double zenith tangulation that I showed you in the beginning. And I think I'll go across this way. And I am going to put three lines. So this will be the center line. And this helps me to keep it even. Okay. okay, so now I'm going to use my micron, and we're going to do the basic same thing that we did before. I'm going to start down here and put my half moons. And I'm trying to keep them about the same size and shape, but um, it's rarely exactly the same. Okay, now I'm going to turn and do the same thing here. And I'm going to mirror these. Okay. And ideally, <laughs> these would line up. It didn't. Uh, did here and kind of here, but it's okay. So now I'm going to do the same thing I did on the basic pattern. So here's my center. I'm going to make these little rice shapes. This is the center I'm aiming for. And like I said, you could just go ahead and make your shapes like that and keep going. I just tend to like to know what I'm aiming for. And I'll do mine one at a time that way.
Okay, I'm going to turn it and do the same thing. I'm going to meet up to where those other rice shapes were. That makes the second side a little bit easier to do. And you can see that this is forming a couple of meta shapes. And by meta shape, I mean that by doing those, we see a circle here. And here we see kind of a petal shape. Okay. So the next thing that I'm going to do is add the diamond shapes in here. And try to make them about the same height. We'll flip it over and do the same thing on this side. And then I'm going to put just some open orbs here on each side on top of our diamond shapes. Okay. And then within these diamonds, I'm going to just put some straight lines. On each side. And these don't need to be perfectly spaced or perfectly even. And I called this channel not perfect Zen because I wanted a constant reminder to myself that I don't need to do anything perfect. Still to this day, I compare myself too much with other people who do some fantastically gorgeous work. But um, the purpose of Zentangle is the Zen, the time to relax and enjoy what you're doing. Okay, so. What I'm doing is this one, okay? And like I said, if you do it with different colored pins, then um, that really sets it off. I'm gonna do a little bit of hatching inside each of these petals on both sides.
And I just like the drama that hatching adds to a pattern. So yes, you will see it in my work quite often. But I encourage you to do what you like. Try different things. Ask yourself, what if I did it this way? And if you don't like it, then you know. It's kind of like a recipe. You can add certain ingredients. And when it's finished, either you like it or you don't, then you know whether you want to do that again. I think this pattern works great as a ribbon or a border. I have not tried putting it all the way around as a square. That would be kind of a challenge for me, but I might try it one of these days. Okay, so that's what we have. So far, I think I'll go ahead and do these dark with the little sparkle inside, like they have it on the original pattern. If you fill it in too much, like I did there, you can always come back with the white jelly roll pen and add a dot. I have seen where they put the dots here. Let me show you again. You can put the dots right there. Okay. And then I think I'm just going to put one diamond aura in the center of these. Since these are kind of an odd shape, I think that might work the best. Okay, now I'm going to add the shading. And I'm going to put a little bit in each of the places where I put the hatching. I didn't put it over here. Let me go back before I forget. Oops, I missed one. I missed one here and here. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to take my blending stump and just soften those towards the center. And I don't want to put any right there in the middle of that petal. I think 
I missed. There we go. You could go back and erase these lines, but they're so light that uh, it's not really necessary. I still try to fight the perfectionist in me and just enjoy what I'm doing. Okay. So I am now going to add some graphite just where these meet the petals. And I'm going to soften that. And then I'm going to add graphite in the center of these diamonds. And then I'm going to soften that. All right, so that is double zenith. That's a tangulation of the pattern zenith. It's in tangle. Here is the basic pattern. And I'll show you again how I did it. It's a little bit of color here. Let's slip that under here. <laughs> All right, there you go. Day eight, Zenith by Zentangle. I hope you've enjoyed this. And if you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, I would appreciate a donation through coffee.com, not ever required but it helps to keep my channel going. Just hope you have a great day. I hope you stay safe and stay well. And I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.